What's up, Barbecue Nation? John Foley here from True Barbecue. In this episode of True Barbecue TV, I'm going to be showing you how to trim a rack of spare ribs into a St. Louis cut. So grab your knife and let's get started. Welcome back, guys. So, you're looking to trim your spare ribs into a St. Louis cut? Well, it's pretty easy. What we got here is a slab of uh, spare ribs. And um, as you know, the spare ribs on this pig uh, is more on the side. Your baby backs are towards the top. That's why they're more curved, you know, uh, and why they're called back ribs. Um, then the spare ribs are directly underneath that. Now, the spare ribs are made of the two parts. You, you have your St. Louis cut, which are just your bones, your rib bones, and then the tips, or rib tips, if uh, I'm sure you guys heard of that before. So, we're going to take the spare ribs, we're going to trim it, we're going to have a rack of St. Louis cut, and then we're going to have some rib tips, and we're going to smoke them both together, and they're going to be delicious. Let's go ahead and trim it up, I'll show you how. Why don't you get a little closer, get a better look, hope you got your sharp knife. And uh, come on, let's go. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bite. Not too hard, at least. <laughs> uh, that was tough. All right, now that we're nice and cozy, let's get started. First thing I do, I flip the rack of ribs over, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this flap that's here. So, can I get close to the bones as possible? Alright, got that flap off. Um, next step, I'm going to go ahead and remove the silver skin that's under, underneath the, the bottom of these ribs. You always want to remove the silver skin uh, when dealing with either spare ribs or, or uh, baby backs. Um, the silver skin, the membrane is impenetrable and it uh, will keep from the smoke from penetrating from the bottom and also will keep your delicious rub so you actually get into the meat. So I'm gonna get that off. Okay, now that we have silver skin off, first you wanna make the St. Louis cut trim is a rectangle rack. So we want it as perfectly rectangular as possible. Um, so using the bottom as a reference, since you got the bones here, right? You got the rib bones here. Here's your your uh, rib tips and your breastbone. You got this flat section over here. Um, to do this, we are going to find the largest rib bone, which is usually towards the middle. So. I'm gonna make first incision. I'm gonna make right here where the top of this bone is. And I'm gonna come out parallel to this bottom. So just cut out and should get a nice cut here. I have to cut through. Uh, I mean, I cut it through bone. You're actually cutting through cartilage. Rib tips are are um, I mean uh, rib tips are made of have cartilage throughout the whole thing, so you gotta cut through that, which is you know having a sharp knife um, makes that a lot easier for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just square this up, cut this little piece off here. All right, so yeah, halfway done, easy so far, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over, just cause I'm right-handed and just easier preference. You can leave it other way if you want but I like doing it this way it's my show so I do what I want all right so now again let's uh, make the same start from this middle here and we're gonna cut out staying parallel to now the top so let's go ahead down, make our cut and uh, there we go 
We just separated the rib bones from the rib tips. And this is what you call a St. Louis cut. Now here's this little flap. You can leave it on if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and square this up here. And this is still good meat. I mean, you can smoke this alongside it. It's gonna cook pretty quickly though, since it's pretty thin. So. Or just throw it away. Do whatever you want, your meat. So there we go, look at this. Boom, St. Louis cut. Rack of ribs right here. Looking nice, can't wait to smoke it, I'm pretty hungry. And, uh, and then over here, we got our rib tips. And uh, I'm just gonna pretty much leave this how it is. Uh, let me cut out this fatty piece here. Other than that, I'm just going to leave it. Oh, cut this thing off. And um, so yeah, I'm going to put my rub on both of these and smoke it for it takes about six hours at 225 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's gonna be delicious. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like, comment, and share. Uh, let me know how you like the video, if you have any other questions or you know, comments. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you, if you haven't done so already. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Till next time. See you when the smoke clears. <laughs>